Israel declares war on Hamas terrorists. Hours after terror group uh, Hamas attacks several cities of Israel, Prime Minister of uh, Israel Benjamin Netanyahu has announced Operation Iron Sword to eliminate those terrorists who have infiltrated Israeli area territories. Netanyahu has cautioned to vacate the Gaza city. If at all you're not involved, vacate Gaza city, move to areas that are safer. That's the warning that's been given as Israeli forces now are all ready to operate forcefully to destroy the Hamas hideouts. As per Palestinian officials, over 200 people have been killed so far in Israel's counter-offensive. Black and white images released by the Israel Defense Forces showed vehicles and boats being targeted by Israeli jets. Meanwhile, over 300 Israelis were killed in this sudden terror attack in the early hours of Saturday in Israel. Hamas has made a grave mistake this morning. It launched a war against the state of Israel. Israeli Defense Forces troops are fighting against the enemy at every location of infiltration. I can call on the citizens to follow the security instructions from the Home Front Command. The state of Israel will win this war. I want to say one thing. Hamas has opened the gate of hell in the Gaza Strip. Hamas made the decision. Hamas will pay for its deeds. The state of Israel suffered a severe blow today. We are all hurting. We are all angry. But states and wars are not managed in pain and rage, but calmly and from a strategic understanding. We need to put politics aside now in favor of an emergency government that will conduct this campaign with determination and will not engage in anything else until the complete victory over our enemies. All right, uh, we have joining us Maya Kadosh, senior Israeli diplomat and former deputy ambassador to India. Um, let me cut across. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, ma'am. Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu at this point has decided uh, to avenge the attack by the Hamas terrorists. Would you be able to tell us what uh, swift action is Israel taking and how strong is the country at this point? Uh, and... and it, it's sad. We're, we're really, uh, heart, it's a heartbreaking uh, situation for us to watch those kind of visuals being un uh, that are unfolding right now of women being held hostage by the Hamas terrorists. Uh, I assume that uh, we will see more uh, retaliation, much stronger than what we see now. Uh, I think what Prime Minister Netanyahu said that Israel is going to do is going to be done. Uh, I would wait to see the developments. Well, I know uh, you may not be able to uh, predict, but I'd still ask you what's likely to happen in the next week, ma'am? Is the country all set to fight back? I think it's way too early. Uh, we're still uh, trying to recognize bodies. In, in blood, um, we have many people missing, many people abducted to to Gaza. Over 300 people killed, and, and thousands are in hospitals. We, we are not dealing now with any blame game. All these things will be investigated later on. Uh, definitely, we are not in the point we wanted to be, but uh, we are getting stronger, and uh, we will fight back. All right. While that's playing out there, thank you very much, ma'am, uh, for joining us um, on that. Of course, more power to Israel at this point. Uh, they've vowed to fight back the Hamas terrorists. In the next week, it's going to be very crucial to see how this battle really plays out.